before this accident happened, uh, I was a pretty, I, I would define myself as a pretty positive person and uh, felt like I had a pretty positive outlook on life. And I still do today, but uh, if anything, I think now it's just it's a bit reinforced through my experience of, of this near-death experience that I had. Um, it sort of strengthened the person that I am today. Uh, you know, obviously before then, you, you don't, I didn't deal with uh, or didn't really wonder about death, you know, it was, it was almost a, a non-caring type of attitude to it, you know, as a young person would be. Um, and I was in the prime of my life, you know, and just, uh, you know, living on the edge and enjoying every moment and, and sort of, you know, feeling like I can live on forever, right? Um, and then when the accident happened, it was, of course, it was a huge wake-up call. Um, put a lot of things into perspective uh, about the things I take for granted, you know, the relationships that I have and, and um, the, the things I don't take advantage of in life and, uh, you know, not, not grabbing every opportunity as much as I can. So this was a wake-up call to make me realize that had that been the end for me, uh, would, I, would I have felt fulfilled? Um, and the answer is no. The answer is there were a lot of things that I wanted to do that I'm doing now um, and that I'm embracing now, such as, you know, taking on more roles as an actor and, and uh, going back to school and studying in social work and, and trying to figure out how to, to be a better person or to be a person that connects more with my society or, or to help make it better in some, some soft, small, minute way um, and not to sit back in life. Uh, that's what I've learned more now than ever. And I, that's really, it's really helped me grow as a person. And, um, yeah, the, the love I have for my family is, is like times a hundred now. I mean, now we end every conversation with saying I love you, you know, uh, uh, because it's important, it's important, you know. I mean, sometimes people might know, you know, you might, your, your loved one might know that you love them, but, you know, sometimes to say it means a lot more too. And um, that's something I've realized more, just to express every thought, every, every emotion, you know? to try to connect on a real truthful level because you might not have that moment again, you know? But yeah, what, I mean, what I'm learning from this is just just to really be in the moment, you know? And uh, don't get caught up in, in things that don't matter, you know? Really look at your priorities in life and, and that's what it's made me do, you know? Uh, to see what's important and what's not, you know? I don't get caught up in silly arguments because uh, in the grand scale of things, you know, it really it doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean much, you know? You can have an argument with someone and just think you're going to look back in 10 years and feel like it was really worth it, you know, to keep that going, to end a friendship or or to, you know, not take on that, that job that you were too scared to take on for whatever reason. So, yeah, I don't want to look back and uh, say I uh, would have or should have or could have, you know, that's, that's the main thing.